in Ecuador. Demonstrators have clashed with security forces during a nationwide strike. The protests are led by indigenous groups demanding the return of fuel subsidies and the resignation of the president. A state of emergency was declared by the government last week. Will Grant has the story. The day of strike and of conflict in Ecuador. The clashes in the streets of the Andean nation continue to escalate. More fires, more barricades, more stone throwing. And inevitably more tear gas as the demonstrators were met with force by riot police and the military. This national strike was called by indigenous leaders who want to compel the government to reverse its recent end to fuel subsidies, which has caused petrol prices to jump by 100% at the pumps. However, increasingly, demonstrators are making an even more uncompromising demand of President Lenin Moreno. We do not want your economic measures. We do not want you as our president. And all of those who are in favor of those measures are against the people. We want Lenin Moreno to leave power. We are the ones who govern. The police are the ones who are blocking the highway, not us. We are here peacefully. Get out of here. The besieged government, which has moved to the second city of Guayaquil amid the protests, is facing its biggest crisis since it came to power. Similar protests have brought down previous presidents in Ecuador, but the Moreno government insists the military remains loyal. I've just come from the naval base of the Southern Command with the armed forces, where we have been reviewing security protocols, not only for the march, but for the control and containment of acts of vandalism. While the violence is taking place in Quito and other big cities in Ecuador, President Moreno has pointed the finger at his predecessor, Rafael Correa, in self-imposed exile in Europe. Former President Correa released a video on social media in which he called for early elections, but denied he was attempting a coup. There's no coup here, he insisted. Conflicts in democracy are resolved at the polls. There have been some talks between the government and the indigenous leaders, yet following days of constant street violence, this conflict doesn't look like being resolved peacefully just yet. Will Grant, BBC News.